What is the maximum speed at which the four-wheel trolley car with a total mass of 3,000 kg can travel around a curve radius of 250 m without the wheels leaving the rails, given the moment of inertia, radius of the wheels, centre distance between wheels, and motor specifications? Our objective is to calculate the limiting speed. 1. First, we need to find the equivalent moment of inertia for the entire trolley minus car system. Since each axle has a moment of inertia of 32 kgm2 and each motor with its gear has a moment of inertia of 16 kgm2, the total moment of inertia for the system is a total equal to 2 asters 32 kgm2 plus 16 kgm2 equal to 96 kgm2. 2. Next, we need to find the angular velocity of the trolley minus car when it is travelling at the speed of 250m slash min. To do this, we can use the formula V equal to R asterisk omega where V is the linear velocity, R is the radius of the wheel, and omega is the angular velocity. Converting the linear velocity to meters per second, V equal to 250 m slash min asterisk 1 in slash 60 s equal to 4.167 n slash s. Now, we can solve for the annular velocity, omega equal to V slash R equal to 4.167 m slash s slash 0.45 n equal to 9.26 rad slash s. 3. Since the speed ratio between the motor and the axle is 1, 3. The angular velocity of the motor is omega motor equal to 3 asterisk omega equal to 3 asterisk 9.26 rad slash s equal to 27.78 rad slash s. 4. Now, we can find the centrifugal force acting on the trolley minus car when it is travelling around the curve. The centrifugal force is given by F centrifugal equal to M asterisk the centrifugal where M is the mass of the trolley minus car and the centrifugal is the centrifugal acceleration. The centrifugal acceleration can be calculated as a centrifugal equal to omega 2 asterisk R curve where R curve is the radius of the curve. We are given that the trolley minus car must travel around a curve of radius 250 M without the wheels leaving the rails, so centrifugal equal to 9.26 rad slash S2 asterisk 250 M equal to 21,000. 435.4 m slash s2 now we can find the centrifugal force s centrifugal equal to 3000 kg asterisk 21000 435.4 m slash s2 equal to 64 million 306200 n 5 finally we can calculate the limiting speed of the car the limiting speed is the maximum speed at which the trolley minus car can travel around the curve without the wheels leaving the rails this occurs when the centrifugal force equals the gravitational force acting on the trolley minus car, F centrifugal equal to M asterisk G, where G is the acceleration due to gravity approximately 9.81 M slash S2. Solving for the limiting speed, V limiting equal to SQRT F centrifugal slash M asterisk G equal to SQR 64 million 306,000 200 and slash 3000 kg asterisk 9.81 and slash s2 equal to 86.6 and slash s so the limiting speed of the car when it has to travel around a curve of radius 250 m without the wheels leaving the rails is approximately 86.6 and slash s